Welcome to our channel, The Big King Family. Hello, welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Um, those of you who are just now joining us and those that are subscribers that have been with us for a while. Tonight, I want you to join me as I cook dinner. I'm making meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and green, uh, green beans. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, first of all, we have here, uh, this is over three pounds of ground beef. Three pounds of ground beef for just six eighty seven. Cause at this time the ground beef was on sale for just a dollar ninety nine. That's my oven beeping. Alrighty. So the only time that I will buy beef, I try to keep it at a, at um two forty nine or less a pound. And um, our family is a family of four, really a family of five. Romel is eating a lot of the food with us now, so he's almost one. He'll be one in a couple of weeks. Alrighty, so I have my ground beef for my meatloaf. I have the house seasoning, which is seasoned salt, garlic powder, and black pepper. Plus, I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning. Today, we only have one piece of the butt bread left. What I'm going to do is toast that, and I'm going to crumble that on up in there. You got When you don't have it, just use what you got. Because I start to 86, the bread crumbs are crackers, but I don't have it neither. I don't have neither of those. But instead of throwing this away, I'm going to uh, toast it up and put it on in there. Next, um, I have my bell peppers and onions. I always buy them pre-diced and I have them in the freezer. I can use them all month long and that's that. These are a dollar bag at Myers, a dollar twenty-five. But nine times out of ten, they're on sale five for five. So I get ten bags, five of the onion and five of the bell pepper that lasts me all month long. And I use it with different recipes. So I will saute them up and mix them in the mixture of my meatloaf mixture. Okay, then the eggs, we're gonna put I'm gonna put three eggs in there since it's three, an egg per pound, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I just realized that these eggs will be expiring. If I can, wait a second, damn, these they let them not. I don't guess nobody never know, I'm just gonna put them on in there. But I thought, I thought the other one said 11, 19. Let me see real quick. I got me some grapes right there so I can snack. Have you, Anybody else snack while they're cooking? You know, I'm just gonna be grabbing some grapes while I'm cooking. Yeah, it is 11. Dog, oh, it is 11 now. I'm gonna go ahead and use them. That's their best buy anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's too gone. It's long gone. It's their best buy, so I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so I'm gonna put three eggs in there, and then tonight I'm gonna go ahead and boil all these eggs, and we can go ahead and eat them up with some. Uh, tuna packets or something you know we keep those on hand and stuff too so we can just eat all that up tomorrow those boiled eggs all right moving on the topping of the meatloaf very simple ketchup sugar all right so then we have our green beans these are canned green beans it say no salt added but what i will be doing when i get to that point you'll see what i'll do with the green beans but i'm gonna do these green beans and we're also gonna have some mashed potatoes this is a three pound bag of potatoes and it was on sale. These are some Klondike gold dust, I don't know. But they're by Green Giant, you know, some um, potatoes. And these are the Yukon Gold potatoes. I really love though the Yukon Gold or else the red potatoes. Oh, I just love them. And then, so when I when I do these potatoes, you'll see how I do them. I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes and I'm definitely gonna have, add seasoning and plenty 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 of butter all right so that's my meal let's get going first thing first always wash your hands before you get started cooking i use that just because it Well, I'm going to just go ahead and put the um, one piece of bread I got in the toaster. Okay, first I have to plug it up. I keep 
keep all my appliances unplugged when they're not in use just to help on the light bill. I'm going to see how that goes because this is my first month doing that. Stick that right in there. Now, I want it to be pretty crispy. So I'm going to put it on five to make sure it's pretty crispy and crumbly. Okay, that's that. Okay, so now I'm preparing my water for my potatoes. I'm going to get it going. I'll be using. Get my water boiling for my potatoes. Next, I will be uh, rinsing my potatoes. I don't peel them. This right here is just a half a bag. I used the other half a bag the other night to go with some salmon. The salmon didn't really come out like I wanted it to, but I still should have blogged it. You know, trial and error, trial and error. But anyhow, we still ate the salmon and the mashed potatoes and sauteed vegetables, but I'll know like some different steps to take next time to make it taste like I want it to taste. So, this half a bag of potato, it should be enough one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to add two more potatoes from the other bag. I'm just going to rinse these and get them ready to be cut up and just put into the pan. Because all I'll do is cut them up, put them into the pan. I do not skin them. Let's cut our potatoes up and get them into the water. She got it. She got to check and stuff. Smile. All okay. right. <laughs> okay. My daughter gave you a good little smile. I'm done cutting them up. They're okay. boiling. Get ready. Next, what I'm going to do is probably go ahead and saute my green peppers and onions. I'm going to move this part to the back eye and saute my green peppers and onions and get my um, meatloaf prepared so I can get it in the oven. Probably should have did that first, but oh well. Trial and error. <laughs> Alrighty, I got my skillet on right now. I'm going to saute my vegetables that I'm going to put into the um, meatloaf. I'm going to put one, probably two good globs of butter on there. I'm going to turn this down to about four or five. I just want to saute them. I'm going to use both bags. I'm going to use the rest of these onions. Yeah. Don't worry, it is turned down, so we'll just be cooking at an easy pace. These are the green onions. I'm going to use the rest of these chopped bell peppers. For some reason, I really like to always uh, saute my uh, pe bell pepper and onion before I put it in, into anything. I don't know why. I just It just gives it a much better taste. Hit my onions a little bit because I'm just only going to use half of this bag. I wanted to break them up a little bit because they're kind of frozen. Okay, 
half of that bag. Then I'm going to take one of these zips, put it in here, and stick it right back in the freezer in just a second. It won't take me long to just cook these down and put them to the side. And then we can mix together our meatloaf and get it ready for the oven. Let me get me a, a bigger spoon. Rinse it off a little bit. So now I'm going to saute these on down. We're going to saute them down a little bit with that butter. Okay, this is the pan that I will be cooking my meatloaf in. Yes, I do my meatloaf in a cookie sheet. My meatloaf be about this thick. It doesn't take that long to cook, and the kids just like it that way, and I definitely like it better that way. And so, so what I'm going to do is, I don't particularly like, we've had this pan for a long time, so what I'm going to do is line it with some foil, and then I'm going to mix up my meatloaf. Then I'm going to mix up my meatloaf and I'm going to put it on here. All right, right back with the mixing. Okay, pan is done. Also, I'm going to give it a quick spray with Spam. Pam, I'm sorry. Quick spray with Pam to make sure it don't stick. It's time to mix up the meatloaf. And I want to make sure you guys see this when I mix it up. I'm going to use gloves because I got these uh, nails on and stuff. I really um, don't want the meat to get all under my nails and stuff like that. And these gloves, they came from my mother-in-law. Thanks, Mom. You might don't know you gave us these gloves um, a while back. She gave my daughters, a, well, me and my daughters, a whole lot of maxi pads. But in the bag was these gloves. So. I would hang kept them and they were in there. They definitely come in handy. I'm going to try to start keeping some of these gloves like for cleaning and cooking purposes. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm getting the meat. Come on over again. So you get good gloves. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all the meat in here. Okay, all the meat is in there. I'm gonna take this one glove off and grab this. This tub looks pretty pitiful, but we gonna we damn sure gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna set it right here. We gonna just crumble it on in there. Just mix that on in there. And so next, I'm going to put my vegetables in there that I got. I've already sauteed up. My daughter, she about to bust out of that. I don't know what's wrong with her. Okay, we're going to do that. Then, these are the vegetables I sauteed. You guys, look how brown that little caramelization it got on there and stuff. And the little juice from the butter and stuff. It always just gets on into the meat and stuff. I really just, I love it. It, try to get every piece in there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the green beans in this pan right here. I'm going to do the green beans in this pan right here. So that I won't have to use so many dishes and stuff. Because my daughter, she's the one that does the dish. I try to keep it as low as possible when I'm doing dinner. Because you know we eat our paper good. So 
I'm just gonna do the green bean right in there. I'm gonna keep that just like that. To have that little buttery taste and everything right on in there. Alrighty, so I got that in there. Next, I'm gonna come with, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put my seasonings on here. In here. We get these from Sam Clubs. We probably got these about, man, well over three months ago and they're still moving strong for us. So I think these, yeah, this is seasoned. So I guess I ain't gonna do too heavy. It's three pounds of meat. That's why I'm kind of, but garlic powder, yes. Don't mind having quite a bit of garlic powder. I'm talking about quite a bit of garlic. I wish I could taste this after I, I mix it up so I would know how much seasoning is in it because I really want it to be well seasoned and taste, you know, the ground beef just tastes really good once I put the uh, the ketchup topping on top of there and let it cook down. Here goes some black pepper. Not a lot of that, a little bit of that go a long way. You get a little spice, a little kick off of that. I, I do, I don't know why. Cajun pep seasoning. We did the house seasoning. Now I'm going to put some Cajun in there too. So I like to add Cajun to almost everything. It gives everything a little bit of kick. It really does. And the sodium is not that high. Only 65 milligrams per tablespoon. I can't believe that for a Cajun seasoning. Maybe because it's made with mainly peppers. And you know the hot sauce is um, really low carb and stuff. Okay, so I got seasoned up really good. So I'm not sure I'm gonna season up good. I'm gonna do three eggs. <laughs> I had to need so much sugar. This pepper always. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. This pepper always does me in. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to kind of rinse my hands off again. And I'm going to get some more gloves on. I'm going to mix this up really good and get it ready for the, um, the pan. Okay, dry my hands off. gloves on me myself when I go to YouTube I really enjoy watching other people cook and stuff like that so that's why I said when I do dinner tonight maybe I go ahead and just vlog it maybe people will like seeing some meatloaf being made I, I mean it's pretty much the conventional way with the seasonings a little bit of breadcrumbs seasonings and a little bit of vegetables in there that's about it and the eggs to help keep it together, of course. So now I'm just going to get right in there. The vegetables are still pretty warm. You got to get in there and get it mixed. Really, really good. Yeah, do them. And you want that egg to go all the way through there. So when it do bake, the egg, you know. Got it. You know, yeah, but you definitely want to do this to get all that flavor of the vegetables and the seasonings all the way through your meatloaf. You definitely want that. <coughs> okay. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Y'all can't wait to finish it. I think that's really good. I like when you can see, consistently see veggies a little bit of egg like the creamier part you can tell the eggs all mixed in there ready to go now i'm gonna get it on my pan stay tuned all right that definitely saved me you know by using the gloves and stuff but i just feel like i work so much better with my hands i had the 86 them gloves i really did and i mean i didn't get nothing on my hands or nothing like that that was a blessing and stuff but i put it on here and i just spread it out like it's a Pretty much like it's a, a, sheet, a sheet cake, you know? And those sheet cakes, they be looking good. 
to me. I, you know, kind of a thinner cake and stuff, but we're trying to do low carb, low sugar, low sodium around here. And I know some things that we, we're eating and stuff still is not quite where we need to be, but we're just getting started. We just started about three weeks ago, and we're going to just keep on moving. That's all we can do. I did stop using the lemon pepper seasoning because um, it had like 600 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon. That don't make any sense. And all the rest of these seasonings have 100 per milligram or less. I think all of them have less, less than 100. The Cajun seasoning really surprised me. It don't have nothing but 65 milligrams per tablespoon. Really surprised me to be that low for a Cajun seasoning. So I'm just pressing it all down. My oven is preheated. To 350 I'm gonna cook it for 45 minutes and see where it's at I'm one of those that like for my meat to be done done uh, and when I say done, I mean I don't want to see no red in the middle of this meat when it comes I, I, I just don't want to see that that just me can't help it that's how I was raised that's just how I was raised you know a little piece of that burnt toe we're gonna set that to the side I ain't gonna do that to my family it look, it, and my husband be very well fine with his crazy stuff. What is this? Are you trying to kill us? <laughs> Alrighty. I'm about done with the mister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. Does that look good? Yeah, if you can't wait to eat some of this meal, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just okay. Let me wash my hands up before I get it in there. Okay, so it's going in the oven on 350 for 45 minutes. And after that, use your own description of how well done you actually want it. Okay, so now. Oh my lord, my son has made a mess over there. You see the mess he done made? He rolled. I gotta get them put away. <laughs> see what I go through while I'm trying to cook? Look, look at this floor. And I'm trying to cook dinner. Do but you doing way too much. Okay. So now I'm putting it in the oven. Into the oven. And I can actually set me a little timer. Okay, 45 minutes. Good time. Set it and forget it. Okay, I'll see you guys when I get ready to pull this out or else I'm going to go ahead and get the green beans going. Okay, so now I'm going to get my green beans going. Always, always rinse your cans off. Always. Rinse the top of your cans off. Always. There's going to be three green beans. I got these to got the top on. You just pop the top That's off. That's easy. Very glad though. I'm very glad. I have a they never have them in um, bottles or nothing? Not bottles. I mean like, uh, what's it called? Jars. Jars? I don't know. They don't have them? Never know. I never so seen So you get all these. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to drain them. Rinse them. Then I put half in there. You go ahead and pour me a skillet. Whoa. Because all the that juice and stuff in there has a lot of sodium in it. Just trying to cut it back on the salt. And I won't be getting cans anymore. I will, I will be getting I even got some frozen green beans in the freezer already, you know. So when we want green beans, we can use them. Oh, a bag? Yeah, yeah. freshly frozen. Oh, yeah. I, got, I got some frozen ones. So what's this? 
Those are potatoes. Oh. They're boiled. We have mashed potatoes, green beans, and meatloaf. So oh. um, I drain these. What kind of cookie meatloaf? And I rinse them. Yeah, you can look at the meatloaf. It's cooking now. Oh, and that's good. It don't look, you know, it's not in like one of those um, pans where it looks like it's, all, it's a lot of meat. Like it's it's all up. thick and then you have to get some of that thick piece yeah. of meat and stuff. I just, myself, I'm just not real big on that. This is the way y'all like it. I don't know. I don't and like, this is the way I, I like it. I'm just going to throw these You can catch it in some crackers. Huh? Girl, bit the put crackers in there. Oh, okay. It's good in ketchup and stuff. So I'm going to put this butter in there, but I'm going to get some more butter. Oh, some more butter right here. Pound cake. How many sticks of butter do you need for pound cake? Three. Four. You need four? Well, we might have to buy you some more when you do the pound cake. But right now we're doing the green beans. And what I did, I just rinsed them. I just rinsed them and then rinse them again with water. Then I put half a cup of water in there, like in the can, and poured it in here. This is three cans of green beans. As of now, I'm not buying no more canned green beans. I'm just going to buy the um, frozen green beans and throw them in my freezer. That's how I'm going to do that. Or you right just here, take them out the thing and put them in. What notification was that? I probably shouldn't even add too much butter, but... I wish I had butter. Yeah, probably so. I'm going to add, add the butter. And then I'm just going to put some salt and pepper in there. That's seasoned salt? Oh my God. I could not find that. I'm just going to put some seasoned salt. You know, that's a little seasoned salt and pepper in there. I'm turn this up so it can be cooking. And then I'm going to let it just cook down with all this green beans and juices and stuff. So the juice, well, hopefully a little juice come off ever since I drained it. And that's pretty much it with my green beans. I'm just going to let them kind of cook down, boil and cook down for about 10 or 15 minutes. You know, let them get a little more tender. Look like they're kind of crispy coming out of the pan. That can look like. The reason it's not going too bad, I had it on real, real low. So now we're going to check on the potatoes. So now we're going to go ahead and see the green beans. They're still over there. Just kind of warm and cooking. I, I put them up a little higher so they can go ahead and kind of cook down for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and drain my potatoes. I want to drain really, really well. Nothing on there. Drain really, really well. Okay. Put them back in the pot. I'm going to bring the pot back over here to the stove. What I'm going to do is season it with the house seasoning. Season salt, black pepper, garlic powder. Pep. Oh no. Garlic powder, garlic powder. Yeah, Tip said she wanted a fry. Cheese fries. Cheese fries. No, thank you, babe. All right. No, I'm gonna talk to my husband about something. Okay. He's gonna send for him a, a sandwich before he eat dinner. All right. Huh? Tip is recording for me. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna put all the rest of this butter in here. Whoa. And maybe, <laughs> maybe even more. Yeah, I probably do. Because I just, I just like butter. I don't know why. Butter is just butter. Just you know, it fixes every food. Like a lot of people, they like hot sauce on every food. Oh, yeah. And I've started doing that. Hot sauce on an omelet, whoa, that's off the chain. Oh, that's and hot sauce on spaghetti is off the chain. I like butter with everything. Both of those are good. Butter could go with the Ugh. Hot Delicious. Sauce, oh, hot sauce on ice cream. Oh. 
Maybe and you should try. So I'm gonna put another half right here and here. Plenty of butter will do your potatoes. Mm -hmm. Butter, butter, butter. Then all you wanna do is just be mashing them down. You know what? That's one thing I don't have is a masher. But they're cooked down so well that they go ahead and mash up. You know, and they, they might have a few chunks in it, but I don't mind. First. Appreciate you. Get, a, get a potato, I'll smash it from my mm -hmm. daughter that's recording. She said she might be able to get one for me. <laughs> I said, on AliExpress. Oh, you told me it's on there, so I need to go on and buy my dang self. I probably will buy it. These yeah. potatoes I mean, really oh, smell good. Uh, no, it's, it's so, uh, it's pending right now to my account. Mm -hmm. It's not in there, though. That's why I would have seen my corn. Mm -hmm. They still have the skin on them. They're really good with that skin on there. Okay, you take all the water off, season, butter. That's it. You talking about some good mashed potatoes? Mm -hmm. Very simple. And our baby brother, well, he gonna eat some mashed potatoes. Okay, let me see. Mac up. Mac up. Okay, so mashing. So we're still mashing. After she had a little fun with baby brother. All right, the mashed potatoes are done. They're ready to go. Oh, we buttery, seasoned, ready to go. They're going to taste so good with the meatloaf. Okay. Meatloaf got Oh, we got 23 minutes on you guys. So here's the the green beans. They're cooking. There's a lot going on. In the other room is my son and my husband. They're doing different things. Okay. And the green beans, see, they're cooking up, cooking up really good. I'm gonna let them gonna cook down. Oh, you're just gonna cook it like that and then mix it. Yeah, I might, I might stir it a little bit. You know, there's nothing much to green beans. It's some seasoning in here, just a little bit of butter, and the extra little juice that, that was on the bottom from the bell pepper and onion. Okay, so we're gonna wait on the meatloaf, and I'll come back to you when it's time to take it out. Alright, the oven is beeping. There's the mashed potatoes and the green beans are done. So now, Timmy's going to take it over. I'm going to take the meatloaf out. See where we at. 350 on 45 minutes. Yeah, it counts out. Okay. Alright, it's not a little too bad there. Let me get this hot water running. <laughs> my husband back there scaring my son, trying to get away. You want a steak for Jay to come around there? You want a steak for me to come around there? I'm going to drain it. You want a steak for me to come around there? I'm gonna put it on 400. I'm gonna put it back in there for 15 minutes with the sauce on it, and it should be ready to go. I can leave it right there. And guys, look at what I brought in. Okay, he just wants want you to see what he brought in, you guys. These are dinosaur shaped sweet corn chips. Japanese, right? Looking back here, it's very healthy. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try this one day, so be tuned for us when we try it. All right, see ya. Okay, so what I did was I went around, I went around all the corners of this. It had all that fat, extra fat around it and stuff. Let me kind of go through it a little bit. In the middle. All right, it's real brown in there. Okay, we good to go. Okay, so now for the sauce. This one is about almost long gone. I'm gonna squeeze it all in there. All right, try to use all of it. I'm gonna definitely put just a little bit. The 
there's a little bit of water in here. I put a little bit of water in here. Shake that up. Cause I like for mine to be light so you can pour it over it, okay? That's how I like mine. This one right here, I'm gonna have to I might have to open it. There we go. Let's see. I want it to be plenty. I really would like for it to be. I think this is enough salt. So I do like for it to be plenty. Okay? So I had the sugar out. We don't have any brown sugar or powdered sugar. So we're just going to have to use this. I like to sweeten it. That's a little sugar. Yep. I like to sweeten it. And then let it cook down over top of the meatloaf. Don't know why. This is just how we like it. No, I really like it. There you do, see. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more. A little bit of water. Trying to see if it'll get to that. Try to get it to that poor consistency. Consistency. That poor consistency. Where I can just kind of pour it. Okay, I think it's pretty loose. Not too loose. You see, it still got thickness to it. But I want it to be where I can kind of like pour it over. A lot of sauce over there was gonna be good with the all right. Okay, so while you guys were in a relationship, uh, it's all the oven already hot, so I'm just gonna stick it back in there. But I'm gonna put it on 15 minutes, let it cook down real good, and we'll be good to go. Let me get this going. Good time, put it on about 17 minutes, let it roll. Three, two. You already going? Oh, no way. Stop it. And we're back. Okay. Everything's okay, you guys. It's all good. Man, this is live with mistakes and all. That is going back in there for about 17 minutes. Um, so, cook time. So, and then we got our mashed potatoes, green beans. And at next, I'll show it to you on the plate. Thank you for joining me. Here's my meal. Some mashed potatoes, green beans, and meatloaf. Okay, this is my husband's plate. It looks good, don't it? My plate. I'm finna tear this up. And it's lunch for tomorrow. Open this up. It'll still be hot. Oh, why that smoke like? Oh, Lord have mercy. Woo! Oh, Oh, you went to Pennsylvania, Arkansas. Nah.